All right, Sequence fam, we are on our third routine. For this routine, I highly encourage you, if you haven't done this yet, to grab a nice, soft yoga mat, something like this, because we are going to be on the ground. If you don't have a yoga mat, I would recommend getting a pillow for your knees. So basically imagine that there's a pillow right underneath my knees, or what you can also do is if you have a dog who is super lazy, they also work well. For, uh, for pillows. Just kidding, do not do not do that to your doggy. All right, the first exercise that we are gonna do is gonna have our back nice and straight. And it's going to be, actually this is perfect for you, Scout. It's called a fire hydrant. You should actually be demonstrating this one. So it's going to be a fire hydrant. We're gonna lift our leg up like this. And what I want you to do is imagine that there was a glass of water on your back. And so I don't wanna be rotating out like this. I'm just trying to lift and go as far as my leg can. So from the front, it looks like this. I am lifting up just like that. Okay, so we're gonna go 10 on each side for this one. Again, I really recommend to have a pillow or something for your knees because we're going to stay in this position. So from here, we're gonna do, oh my God, this is called a bird dog scout and you're a dog. This is crazy, it's like it's your workout. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go, I'm gonna go out with my right leg, out with my left arm, and then they're going to meet in the middle and I'm gonna do a bit of a crunch right there, okay? So this is a little bit of a balance exercise. We get a little bit of core when we do the crunch right here. So we're gonna go 10 on each side. And what you can do is you can go ahead and pause this video, go through the two or three sets, whatever you decided that you're going to do, and then come back when you're ready for the next round of exercises. And so for the next round of exercises, what we're going to do is it's just gonna be a crunch and then what's called a clamshell. So for the crunch, I want you to put your arms right on your thighs and we're going to crunch up just like this, okay? Um, what I want you to focus on here is not just crumbling up with your neck, okay? It's your mid back and your upper back are what's driving that motion and you should feel that in your stomach. So you're gonna get done with all the prescribed number of reps and then just flip on over to your side for clamshells, okay? So for the clamshell, we're gonna hold this position. Our feet are locked together. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up just like this. It's actually kind of similar to the fire hydrant. And you should feel that right here. So when you get to the top, squeeze. So you should feel your butt working for this, okay? The side of your butt. So you're gonna get through all your reps, flip on over, and you're going to do the other side. Once you get done with this, so you can pause the video right now, come back when you're ready for the last two exercises. So for these last two exercises, again, highly recommend a pillow. We're going to point our toes and we're going to extend our legs and come right back down, okay? Extend our legs, come right back down. So do your best on this one. Once you get to like 10 reps, you should feel that in your quads or the front of your legs. And then the last exercise that we're gonna do, which is gonna be paired with these bare leg extensions, is gonna be a frog bridge, okay? So basically you're going to sit in this style right here, okay, just like that. We're going to lie down and we're going to bridge up from this position, okay? So we're gonna come up and we're going to squeeze our butt and lower back down under control. So at this point, you can pause this routine and you are actually all done with me for the day, but you can wrap out your two or three sets again, whatever you decided that you would do today.